back everyone to Percussion Works. This time we are doing the Mambo Bell pattern for the timbales. Now, when do we play the Mambo Bell pattern? Within uh, the arrangement of a song. Normally that Mambo Bell pattern on the timbal comes when the, the, the singers are singing the chorus of the song and the, the, the lead singer is doing the pregón and the, and the sort of like, to explain it to you the simplest way, sort of like the call and response. Uh, the chorus will sing a chorus and the singer will sing some improvisations back and forth. The horns are going, the bongo player put down the bongos, he's on the campana. That's when you start to play this mambo pattern on the, on the, the, the mambo belt on the timbales. Now, I'm gonna show you the mambo pattern, how to play it, and then I'm gonna show you how to put it into, into the context of the Cuban song, or what they call salsa nowadays, okay? So here's the pattern, it's a two bar phrase. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four, and. Now, two bar phrase, what do I mean by that? It's two measures, it takes two measures to play that phrase. Then you come back again to the first measure. Here's your first measure, and I'm counting it. I always say it on my videos. Guys, always count. If you're playing in a band, especially if you're playing in a Latin band, you know, there's particular arrangements to songs, okay? And if you're not getting a cue from the band leader, the director, you might have to play it directly from the chart and know, have to know how many measures for each section of the tune. How do you do that? You can count them. And you know that when the break comes up on bar 34, you have to know where, you have to count those 33 bars up until 34. So anyway, here's the pattern again, and I'm counting it. First measure, one, two, three, and four, and, okay? Counting it in eighth notes, right? One, two, three, and four, and. Should I say one, and two, and three, and four, and one. That's the first measure. Now, the second measure, you don't play the one. Here's the first measure. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four, and, okay? One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, that's all the bell pattern is. Now I'm going to play it so you can hear it without me counting it. Okay? Sounds a little plain there, but with the whole band grooving, you'll, it'll sound a lot better. Now, I'm also, you're going to notice that I'm going to do this with my hand. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four, and one, two, three, and four, and one. What that does is give you, it kind of locks you in. And what you're doing actually is what the bonguero is doing. He's do, you're doing the tumbao. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Next time you see a salsa tune or something like that, or a Cuban song tune, you'll notice that if you see the timbalero, timbalero do that, You'll notice he's right in lock with the bronca player playing his tumba. So here we go. I'm going to do it now. One, two, three, four. from the beginning of the arrangement, which is the cascara here, which you know from my previous video. I'm going to go from there to here. One, two, one, two, three, four. I kept 
is going. That's how you go from the cascara to here, okay? Of course, if you're counting, and you also have to go with the band and know when to come up. If you notice that I'm playing this pattern here. Some guys play it here. It all depends on the pitch that you want. I particularly like to play it here. In order to go with the bongo, with the bongo cero when he's playing boom, 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 right? He's playing the bongo pattern. And that pattern, I think that when I play the bell pattern here, it goes a little better with what he's doing on the bongo bell. Now, you can play it here too. Me, I prefer to play it here. Some guys will play it straight right in the middle. That's cool too. Sounds very close to what I'm doing. It's a little higher pitch where I play it at. Anyway, so going from here to here, sometimes, and this is all you'll have to know with this, for now, of course, that sometimes when you go from the cascara to the mambo bell, they might do a little break. The break can be as simple as in here, or, or a barriquito. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's just, they'll do something from there to there, or it could be the whole band do a break, right? Like the, like a clave break. Then, whatever, I'm just using that as an example. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go and play this. Just to show you how we go from here to here. And I'll count it. One, two, three, four, one. and the mambo bell and I land and you'll land on the one of course you have to stop this a little early and play the four, four, one. Four. so the end of three and the four and then we're back here on the one Before we end this video, I'm going to show you one little trick that I was doing here that you'll see a lot of the great timbaleros playing. And of course, you know, I can go on and on and on and name the great timbaleros. Of course, you know, Tito Puente, El Rey, okay, Changuitos, a phenomenal timbalero, Manolo Kendo. I can go on, Nicky Marero. I can go on and on and on of the great timbaleros. Johnny Almendra, who was my teacher, okay the great timbaleros that, that throughout history, and you can learn all that is from them. Anyway, there's a little trick that they do and was taught from my master, from my teacher, uh, Johnny Almendra. You hold your stick here with your thumb right there, and then you can still do this. Now be careful not to hit the, the, the rim, but after a while you get, you get, you get used to it and you don't hear it. Actually, with the whole band going, you won't hear it even if you hit it by mistake anyway. And that's a little trick that you can do that little pattern, that two and four pattern, and still have that your, thing, your hand on, on the trigger, per se, right? To use the, the stick to go back. a little getting used to as you see I'm doing it slow I'm, I'm kind of messing it up a little bit because 
you have to break it down. But when you get the hang of it and you're doing it like. And I have no problem with it there. Of course, breaking it down, trying to show it to you guys. But this is a little trick right here. It's cool. Okay, guys, until the next video, I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope you're enjoying all my videos. I'm going to keep putting them on there. Okay. Thank you for the new subscribers that came on. That's why I continue to put this content out there for you subscribers. You know, uh, it's a blessing for me to share what I have learned throughout all the years of my career as a musician and from all the great percussionists that I've learned from. Uh, thank you guys. Please like and subscribe. And I'll put in the description some names of those that I mentioned of the great Dimaleros that you should go and check out. Okay, guys, until the next video, God bless you, and we'll see you soon.